How's it going everyone? This is Martin Ross and today I'll be breaking it down with LMA who knew but before I get into it hit that subscribe button click the alert so that way you get the freshest updates straight to your device. Also check out my sound library Zorus. It's for contact reason and machine. If you buy the original version you get all expansions half off. If you like Dilio T2K's uh, remakes then you'll probably like his uh, sound library called chemicals. So let's get into it. All right, so just like uh, the previous video, a lot of people sent me emails saying how they like it already pre-made and they just kind of want to see the, the chords that I'm doing. So we're going to do it the same way again. And um, let's go over what I got. So I got um, an EP key and um, I'm actually going with C, E, E. Then I'm going to go to B. I'm kind of going down uh, half steps. Then I'm going to A, A sharp, um, B, D sharp A, then I'm going to go A, C, G, going to go to kind of a power chords with B, D sharp, B, then a diminished uh, chord here with D sharp or E flat, F sharp or G flat, then I got A and D sharp, and then I'm going to return back to C, B, E. Let's hear how that sounds. going to loop and that's pretty much the main setup so the pads so the pads that I'm using here is a pad from my sound library source again I'm just following C B A and then D sharp um, again I have that filter to give that that big round um, strong shake so here we go all right let's hear how that sound Alright, so now I got my leads. So with my leads here, um, I kind of just went on my own uh, vibe here, just following the um, the the B uh, the B minor scale. So let's hear how it sounds. Next is the music box, and the music box I followed pretty much a uh, arpeggiated, uh, and you'll see later on the bass that I do, it's arpeggiated uh, B scale, so here we go. All right, next is the Steam. The Steam uh, is from my sound library Zorse, so check that out on Zorse Bangers. And the steam is kind of like uh, the riser to make it uh, come into your uh, track here. Okay, let's look into the drums now. Um, these drums are all just out of an 808 pack that I have. Uh, as you can see here, I'm writing off eighths. Then I got my um, 30 second notes. Now, uh, for the perks, I just want you guys to hear just the drums here. So, uh, the perks, I'm, it's, it was kind of tricky at first, but I think I nailed it with a uh, triplet to make it sound uh, more, um, I guess you could say, trappy. Here we go. So all I did with the hi-hats is I just pitched down the hi-hats about three semitones to get that um, kind of like that wet, like deep effect. Um, let's see how it sounds all together. Okay, so now the verse part. The verse part, um, I kind of just went with a funky bass. I kind of made it my own style, 
but as you can see here it's just a bunch of arpeggiated um tracks now i think now i'm not too sure on this i think um this bass line was made off an arpeggio so let's just hear what the bass line sounds like Now, uh, I'm actually just using the basic uh, brassy uh, funk patch. I um, made the release a lot uh, wider so that way it takes a longer time to kind of release. So it has more of like a sustain as it plays. But it's just the basic um, brassy funk uh, bass from Studio One, uh, the Mai Tai. Now, as for the drums, all it is is just claps and then they add uh, the um, 30 second clap uh spin on there and then we added a uh keys towards the end of the track kind of get that feel so let's hear what it sounds like all together there you go with that clap there got the chords coming back in Okay, so last but not least is it actually kind of becomes more lighter. So I just used a Vox pad on top of the synth pad that I used. In the Vox pad, I just went up an octave, well, two octaves to kind of give it that uh, angelic feel. So if you listen to this part, we're going to go from the, the regular uh, hook and then we're going to go to kind of like the airy Vox hook. Here we go. So you're kind of hearing that low timbre there, and now we're going to switch up. Bring the box up. All right, guys, and that's it. That is Ellie Mae's Who Knew. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've gotten this far, hit that subscribe button. Hit that alert button so you can get the newest updates straight to your device. Please check out my sound library source. A lot of the samples were used in this remake. So check out Bangers, which is an expansion. Now, if you get the original version, you'll get all the expansions half off. Also, if you like Dilio T2K's remakes and you'll like his uh, library, the, that's called Chemicals. It's for Massive. Look it all in the description. It's down in the description of this video. Also, also, if you like the video, hit that like button. Any questions or requests, leave it in the comments. Most important, share. This is Martin Ross. Thank you guys so much for checking out my Breaking It Down with Ellie Mays. Who knew? Take care.